Hi, hello, hi. Two things that have been requested for a very long time are happening today. First of all, I am finally finishing Kratos. And second of all, I'm actually starting off the video with the last high. Oh my God, it's like every tried commenter's dream. Anyway, yeah, today I'm going to be finishing Kratos. And if you missed the trailer that came out probably yesterday or a couple days ago or something, um, there's a few things in there, but the main one is that we have a new song. It's a banger, it's awesome. I love it so much, huge shout out to Jesse for doing that one for me. Appreciate it. And yeah, I guess it's finally time to revamp this level and polish it up and finally finish the top one version. I'm also going to be doing a video where I like nerf it and then make an insane demon version. But yeah, this is the final video for the top one version, which is really crazy to finally be saying. Yeah, I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. All right. So I guess without further ado, let's get into redecorating this first part. I didn't mean to say redecorating, but we kind of are going to be doing a little bit of redecorating here. This part's not great. I'm not gonna lie. It's not amazing. It's definitely the weakest part of the level and it doesn't really fit with the song anymore. The song's like very intense, right? And the part's like very just like not very intense, you know? <laughs> and I feel like I'm a lot better of a creator than when I originally built this. So I think we could do something cool with this. All right. First of all, I want to get rid of these saw blades because I don't like them. I think they look kind of dumb, kind of stupid. The original kind of feel I do want to keep, but I just want it to be a little bit more intense and a little bit better looking, right? Let me start off with something that'll be a little bit easier. That being the saw blade design here. I've seen a couple people do something like this. We have a saw blade here and then I'll make this like a, yeah, something like that maybe. And then what I can do is put another saw blade, maybe the same type of saw blade, but just a little bit smaller and rotated, right? And then if I make that like just black, right? You can see it's almost got like little bits that stick out here. And if I make that the same rotation of like something slow, that kind of like, oh, uh, I don't like that coloring, but you kind of get the idea, right? That's kind of neat. That kind of works. And then what I can do is probably do another layer of like boom, 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 boom. And then just shrink that so that we've got just like a black saw blade like this, right? And then we can chuck something in the middle, maybe. I'm actually straight up just going to use one of these objects that are like just to add the like spokes in there, right? So I'll do that and then scale it down a little bit. So it's like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's very different, but I feel like it works quite well, right? It adds like the black in there to give it some contrast which is always good. And then as one last little detail, I'll add some glow here that's scaled up kind of behind all of that. And then maybe just give that one scale hack, baby. This is Kratos. I don't have to worry about it looking amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think that works. I'm going to call it there for the saw blade design. And then maybe I can have that connecting to the ground somehow. I'm not hundred percent sure whether I want to do this or not, but what if I use some lava objects? It looks so goofy. It looks so goofy. No, 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 not that, not that. I might even just do like some of these that are just kind of on a darker red color. It's pretty similar to the background. I don't really love that actually. Yeah, honestly, just straight up black would probably work. I'm not gonna lie. And you can kind of see that like connecting up there. I don't know, does that look decent? I don't know, dude. Maybe I could even add some of these and then give that like five so that it goes up like so. I'll do that design, sure. These lightning bolts blend in with the background quite a bit. So I'm thinking it'll probably be fine. I don't want to clutter it too much. I kind of forgot those lightning bolts were there. I'm not going to lie. I think that looks kind of neat. Yeah. I love how these clicks sync, dude. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, I think that's pretty good in terms of saw blade design. Very different to this, but I think that's fine, honestly. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and let's replace all of the saw blades in this part with these. And with that, we have all of the saw blades and connector deco in here. I think this is looking a hell of a lot better already. Obviously, a lot more has to be done with the ground, but that's fine. These saw blades alone are just looking so much cooler, dude. And the connector deco connecting to the ground just helps so much. Also, I can't believe I forgot. Didn't do any jump orb deco here. Actually, unbelievable. Unforgivable, even, dude. Saw blade. <laughs> Another little detail I'll do with this is I'm just going to add a little bit of electricity on T3. Just to have something connecting to the orb, right? I, I think it's kind of neat. I'll even rotate this one by 45 and then like place it on the corner there. 
Dude, it's sick! Oh, I love that so much. The doubled up electricity, because the animations are slightly different as well. It's like, oh, that's actually awesome, dude. That's so awesome. All right, cool. So now that's pretty much everything above here that I think I want to do. Now I got to work on whatever the hell I want to do underneath here. If we look actually in game here, there's a lot of below ground on screen. Like at least 50% of the screen is below ground pretty much at all times. So it almost looks fine just being a black void, but I don't really want to leave it like that, to be honest. <laughs> also, I am totally leaving that base cave demon face in there, by the way. Oh, what if I do an animation where it like builds up, where it's like, do, 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 <laughs> Amazing, amazing, dude. All right, I've just had an idea for what I want to do down here, and it kind of incorporates some more of like these structures up here, right? And I want to create an entirely new structure here. So let's go something like this, and then maybe it expands out down like that. Let's just straight up take this structure here, just all this stuff, I guess, and let's copy that to layer 11, just as kind of a reference, because I want to build like a very similar, but kind of different block design to that, right? All right, so I'm going to go into post comment commentary mode here because I've spent way too long in this first part already. <laughs> but this is the part that needs the most amount of work, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. Anyway, what you've seen in the background was me recreating the block design that we had for the other structure that I copy-pasted earlier. And after doing that, I decided to add a little detail, that being this little antenna sticking up here. And after putting that guy in there, I decided to add some electricity kind of striking the top of the ground here. And the main reason I did that is because I kind of want to bring the electricity theme a little bit more to the forefront of the level. You can kind of see in the background of the top bit. There's like a bunch of electricity like woo 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 going going woo 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 apparently. <laughs> Along with the kind of like almost energy looking structures that connect the like spike structures to the top of the visible level, right? And plus I wanted this part to be a little bit more exciting to match the vibe of the song. So I thought doing like a little lightning strike animation would work pretty well for that. And after putting that guy in there, I decided I wanted to actually make the lightning strike to the song rather than just kind of pulse randomly, right? Bum, 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 bum. Kind of hear that. I'll have like one like lightning strike for each of those. I think that would be cool. All right. And now with the plan set, it was time to just add a bunch more structures in along with a bunch more like lightning flash animations. Perfect, dude. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> All right, I am very, very happy with these, like, pulsing bits down here. I think they're awesome. I still need to do it on the second part here, but I think I'm going to finish this part here, and then I'll just do the rest off camera. So the next step I want to take for this is I want to do some ground spikes, which for those, I think, as a base layer, I want to use these. Can you even see those, though? Is this just straight up black? Yeah, this is just straight up black, so you can't even see those ground spikes in there, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, you can see them down the bottom now, which is nice. But yeah, so I'm just going to kind of continue these ground spikes going along just the slopey bits like this. Yep, they're all on T3. Cool, cool, cool. And then I can add some slopes below them to kind of darken out everything down below. So something else I want to do is add some of these bushes because, of course, why wouldn't you want to add bushes? I'll just kind of add them along the slope like this. And then maybe I can even add a muncher or two because, you know, munchers are pretty nice. They're pretty neat. Always love a muncher, you know? Awesome. Yes, they are so awesome. I love the munches so much. <laughs> and then there's one last final, final detail. Just to add a slight brick texture in there, right? And I'll give that, yeah, like B3. So it goes behind everything. Let's just copy paste this downwards and see if it's worth it. Like, does that actually look that good or does it kind of look eh? It looks awesome. It looks so good. Oh, that's so annoying, dude, because I can't actually be bothered, but it looks really nice. <laughs> I'll lower the opacity a little bit more so it's not as in your face, but yeah, I actually really like that design, dude. And then I'll just have to chuck in like a single brick there. Do you reckon for this edge, I can get away with just like putting bricks going downwards like vertically? Absolutely no one is gonna think anything is up there. All right, we, we're chill. We're good. All right, cool. Well, now that I've got this section done, I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply this design here over to this section as well. All right, so something else that I really wanted to do that I saw suggested a lot, like a lot of people suggested this. And the thing that I wanna do is I wanna put my name in every single one of these parts because there, I heard a lot of people saying that this looks like a mega collab, but it's all made by the same person, which I thought was really funny in concept. So I'm gonna try and 
incorporate my name into each of these parts as if it is a mega collab, but it's all just my name. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I'll have it just pop out of the ground here. Not Nothing super exciting. <laughs> I like that. All right, cool. I'm really happy with this first part now. I think this first part is definitely up to par with the rest of the level. I think it's looking really, really cool. Um, So now to move on to this part. Oh, I don't think there's too much I want to do with this part. I think this like works pretty much how I want it to in general. The only issue is the music sync with the like, doom. Doom. It doesn't really sync to the music, right? I don't really want to change the gameplay because that was like the whole point of Kratos. If you haven't seen the first video, building a top one layout in one hour. Oh, okay. I've just had an idea. I've just had an idea. What if I do an object color pulse? Yes. Okay. 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 Object color pulse to black. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do a 0.1 hold and a 0.5 fade out. And I kind of want to do that for the block design as well. So what color is this block design on? That's on color one. Okay, bit of a wild idea, right? What if I take a few slopes, right? And just kind of build up these spiky, jagged structures kind of going up like this. I don't know, just have like some of those pulse on and off could be interesting. Uh, I don't really love that. What I might do instead is I'll just do some like giant black blocks that kind of come up and down from the top and bottom, right? That could work. That could work. And then for this second one, maybe I'll do 20. And then for this third one, I'll do 30 and then negative 30. And then hopefully that'll look decent and kind of like create a sense of tension almost. <laughs> no, that looks really stupid. Sure, I'll, I'll try that, see how it goes. If it looks too stupid, then I can like change it and get rid of it or whatever. But I I think it looks fine for now. Um, I'm going to copy paste that up to the top, give that a new group, and then I'll copy paste. I sh sh probably should have used build helper A, but that's all right. I'll just change that up to 155. Yeah, I think that looks pretty decent, and I was a bit, like, nervous to do this, but I think these need a longer fade time, like, one second even, like, a really, really longer fade time. Yes, that is the exact effect I wanted to go for, dude. It's nothing, like, super fancy, but this is Kratos, come on. <laughs> okay, I nearly forgot I need to put my name in this second part as well. All right, where am I going to chuck my name? It's got to be in this last part, surely. <laughs> That's, oh, dude, I, I really like this idea, actually. I think it's really funny. Okay, um, now this next part. Honestly, I'm really happy with this transition into here. I don't think there's anything I'm going to change with this part other than putting my name in there somewhere. Which, where do I want to do it? I feel like the perfect place would be, like, under this structure here. Try to is too long. All right, I'm going to have to do a uh, tried if there's somewhere else. All right, I'm just going to do tried here and just stick it like under there. <laughs> Mega collabs going so strong, dude. That's actually a perfect place, dude. All right, perfect. Now this part, again, not too much I would change. The part where the song's like, do, 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 is like when these like sea of saw blades rise up, which I think is kind of neat. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's much I want to change for that either. This transition works perfectly. Luckily, I already thought of that and boom. Well, actually, do you see that previous part? Because if you see the previous part, it might be a little bit goofy. Mm, maybe I can cover that up with just like a pillar or something. Oh my god, I've hit 40,000 objects. No way, dude. The fact that it took us that long to reach 40k is a little bit worrying. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to do those in an alternating pattern. Like I'm not going to do anything too fancy with these. Um, I just got to make sure to get my layering right. Boom. Oh, oh the final stages of finishing a level up. It's barely even noticeable in normal mode. I'm not going to lie, but those little bits of polish, that's what I'm aiming to do today as well. Like, that's the main goal of what I want to do. All right, cool. Now I just got to put my name in both of these parts here. Surely I can fit a tri there in here somewhere, right? Okay, I have a, I have a really goofy idea. T R I D E. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and then this part. Oh God, where am I gonna put my name in this part, dude? What? I feel like I gotta do something fancier for this part because it's like a modern part, right? Let me try and come up with like a fancy font type thing. It looks so dumb, but I kind of love it. I'm gonna use it just because it's funny. It looks kind of stupid, but it, ah, it looks cool. It looks sick. It looks awesome, actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> that actually, why does that fit so well? It's so stupid and so goofy, but I, I don't know. It works. I like it. Okay, now what the hell am I going to do for a transition here? I know I said I wasn't going to like change the gameplay much, but this transition is an exception, dude. What you used to have to do through there is you used to have to like do an extra little micro click in there. But if you go up like that into the portal, then you go up and die. So you used to have to like do that. Horrible. I'm just going to put a couple D blocks there and see if that works. I kind of hope it does. Yes, dude. Yeah, okay, that transition is horrible, dude. Okay, um, we're gonna have to do a couple polishing transition bits here because this is not good. Yep, that transition works now. All right, awesome, awesome. Now it's just that transition we need to work on. All right. I love transitions so much. Don't know if you can tell. My favorite thing in the world is transitions. I'm tempted to convert, just like have a pulse. And these are like all modern looking structures. And then it just like, boom. And then it goes from this like modern style of structuring to this style of structuring just instantly. Let me do this thing again where I copy paste that go to a completely new editor layer, not 26, and then just trim off everything that I don't really want. I want to keep this background a little bit longer. Do like that type of a thing, and then I'll just like chuck those over the top here. And the original designs need to toggle on, so let me select pretty much everything in this section here. Alright, I think that's everything. I'm going to give that a new group of 162, and I'm going to have 162 be completely invisible. And then you can see the modern like style continues for a little bit longer, and then after a certain pulse 163 will go completely invisible okay and then 162 will become visible you can see it goes from modern to boom here and then like i'll have other things go around there as well i actually i forgot i have to toggle off instead of just making it visible and i kind of think i'm going to copy paste this block design this is going to be a bit of a messy copy paste but it's fine bring you up there get rid of these triggers and i'm going to have to clean this up a lot but i want to pretty much copy that block design over and then just kind of make a smooth transition or as smooth as it's gonna get, I guess. Okay, I've got the block design in place here. So I'm gonna chuck that there and then up on the other like top half here, I'll chuck that there. And then so that'll, oh, does that already just boom appear? It does, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is so, like, that's insane, dude. Just need to get rid of those gears in the background, and that'll be perfect, dude. It'll be perfect. All right, cool. So that transition is done. Finally. God, I was so worried about that transition. I'm glad it turned out pretty decently. Um, Now for this part, what I kind of want to do is, first of all, get rid of that jump orb because it sucks. Now for putting my name in this part. Mm, I don't think it would fit in this part very well. What I kind of want to do is like, see all these hells here, right? I just want to replace one of them with tried. <laughs> would that look super out of place or is that fine? No, that's not even noticeable, dude. Oh my God. So something else I want to do for this part. Here's how the song goes like, Bum, bum, bum. So my plan for this part was to kind of cover up the screen with a few black bars that kind of sync to the music. I was thinking back to like an old intro I made in 2019. Oh, Tazcraft. Okay, that's taken it back. <laughs> but with these black bars, I decided to make them cover up the bottom and top thirds of the screen and just show the straight fly in the middle as you're going through it, right? And after matching that to the music, I wanted to make this last third kind of slide in from the left and cover up the rest of the screen. And so I set up Move Trigger to do that, but making it feel right took a very, very long time. It was a lot of tweaking and a lot of everything, and I still wasn't super happy with the transition, but I eventually got something I was decently happy with in the end. The animation is Itself looked fine but the transition still didn't feel like a transition particularly and that's because you could still see the level that you just came through and the level that you're about to enter so what I did is that as soon as you go through that transition the level behind you disappears and so I left it like this for now but after recording this video I went back to tweak a little bit more I did the same thing with the next part and then also filled in the empty space behind it when you go through the transition as well as making the black screen fade off instead of just disappear instantly just a lot of these small little polishing details that make it look so much better. And so after doing that, here's the final result. 
All right, I'm pretty happy with that transition. That's pretty much what I wanted it to be. I probably didn't need that transition, but I wanted it to like work with the music better. Now in terms of this part, I don't think there's much I want to do other than adding my name in there. I could fit a Trideth Bear along here. Such a stupid idea, but I love it so much. Yeah, I'll do it in that transition. And then I'll also like try and sneak one down here, maybe. Put a Tri GD there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I want to add a little bit more goofy text in here as well, because like I love goofy text so much. Yummy. <laughs> and then I'll put you can do <laughs> because you can do dude you can do i was also really tempted to do one of these parts doing like portals that have just the name of the game mode in them like one of those classic 2.0 portals i kind of want to oh do i do this for the wave i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and then of course of course i have to do these rotating objects here i've got to do like a few of these at least right scale it up a little bit maybe like that yeah wave big all right beautiful 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 now this part here. This part has literally not a single pulse. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I just completely forgot about the pulses in this part, which is so stupid, dude. I'm thinking because there's so much orange, I'm tempted to pulse these like inside blocks, whatever they are. I'm actually going to turn link controls off so I can select them individually. I'm going to pulse them like a nice purple, I think. So I'm going to copy the color of that 31. I'm going to put a pulse trigger down here, which does 31, and then give that like same type of bright brightness, but purple. That doesn't do as much as I thought it would. I think 30 is the main color, so I'm actually gonna just do 30. That's a nice pulse. I really like that pulse, actually. And then I might also pulse this, like, orange outline thing. Is that just object? Yeah, I'm gonna pulse the object color to a bit more of, like, a yellow as well, I think. Just to kind of accentuate the difference between the purple and, like, the, you know, the contrasting colors, right? And then also I want to pulse this lava. So what colors are those? 33 and 38. 38 I could probably do a wacky pulse with. Even, like, something closer to, like, a bright yellow or, like, white-ish type color. And now I think I just need to pulse these, which is 34. Is this a different color? No, it's 34 shifted hue. Let's go. Yeah, just some basic pulses. I think that's pretty good, honestly. Now, where am I going to incorporate my name here? Ooh, I'm not sure. Do you reckon instead of some of these triangles, I could put in like tried in there somewhere? I'll put in Trudy this time, because it's funny. <laughs> that fits in so well. I like that. All right, cool. All right, and this last part, I don't think I'm going to change it all, because I really like this last part. Is a transition out pretty decent? Yeah. I really want to put by tried and more somewhere here, or maybe I'll just like put another tried down here or like tree day tree day gd there it is <laughs> i think in the description of the level i'll put by tried and more i think that'll be funny all right cool yeah i'm gonna do a real quick like couple no clip runs of this level and see if i'm happy with it and from there might be ready to call it done honestly Okay, one last detail that i really want to add in this level is if you listen to the song right at the end right that's kind of like the feeling that it gives me, right? And I kind of want to convey that in the background here. So I want to have like a, be not color one, a background pulse that kind of goes to like a red slowly across that. And then there it needs to like turn to black instantly, right? Only issue is that this is going to extend the end of the level and then it'll be like really weird. So what I want to do here, that trigger should be fine. But this one I'm going to put on a new group and set that to spawn trigger. And I'll do multi trigger just to be safe. And then I want to put a spawn trigger here that spawns group 170. Two seconds, maybe? I, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, and uh, the last, I promise the last thing this time. Definitely the last thing. Um, I want to add some of this lightning in the background here just to kind of fit it in with the theme a bit more as well. This part seems very calm compared to the previous part, right? So I want to add some intensity with this lightning here, you know? Is it the best way to do it? Probably not, but is this Kratos? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm trying to make this a half decent level, but is it a good level? No. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to call it there. Let's go ahead and do the final showcase.
And there it is. Oh my god. <laughs> the top one version of Kratos is finally complete. Now, if you didn't see the trailer, you might not know this, but I am planning on nerfing the level as well. That'll be the next video that comes out, but don't worry, this top one version will still be up on the servers for an open verification for anyone who wants to go for it. Just to preface now, even if somebody beats it legitimately, probably not going to be rated. I don't really want it to actually place on the list because I don't think it's a very good level, especially gameplay wise. And yeah, it was never really intended to actually be verified and go on the list. So if anybody actually does go for it, just know that it probably won't be rated. But with the nerfing, I am going to be making an insane demon version of this level. So there will be two versions up on the servers because I just wanted something that is a lot more accessible, that a lot more people can actually like have a level they can play and possibly beat after, you know, this pretty chunky series that has spanned over a long period of time. I don't know, I thought it was a bit anticlimactic to just have, like, a level that nobody can even touch, right? But neither of those levels are on the servers yet. You're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. In the trailer was a release date of the 12th of August. That is when these levels are going to drop on the servers. So yeah, nerfing video should be out in a couple days, and then the levels will release shortly after that with the showcases of both of the levels. But yeah, anyway, for now, I'm gonna end this video off here. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really hope you enjoyed. Huge thank you to all the members, especially Cool Guy. Really, really appreciate it, seriously. I started this series quite a while ago, and I'm still going strong on YouTube and was able to finish it, and that's mostly due to the support from you guys. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you in a few days. Yeah,